coming in September 25th, 2023, an ethno-historical source book on women in ancient Greece, matricultural patterns, patterns of conquest and domination, the sexual politics of war, captivity, enslavement, weavers as culture makers, prophetic women, what they didn't teach us about the Greeks, beginning with the pre-patriarchal cosmologies of night, earth, the titanides of sea and dawn, the archaic goddesses expressed in art and myth, what we didn't learn about women's ceremony and spiritual culture, the ecstatic dancers of Crete and Mycenaean Greece, the birth caves of Eleutheia, the dream caves of the Nymphae, evidence of Libyan influence in art of the 9th century BCE, Egyptian influence in the depictions of archaic goddesses, Venetian and Anatolian influences, goddesses who withstood patriarchal subjugation, and also how goddesses transform under patriarchal pressure the origins of rape culture expressed through myth and art for a millennium. When the gods are rapists and the heroes such as Heracles, Theseus, and Achilles, the heroes are killers, but the Gorgon refuses to die. The sexual politics of war, conquest, atrocities of sacking the cities, female captives taken as the prize of my spear, raped and enslaved. These stories were told and retold over many centuries, and yet the old tradition of prophetic women persisted through all that time. The myth of Melanippe subverts the persecutions of patriarchy. Women in Greek mythography, Pythias, Melissae, and Titanides, is volume two, book one, in the Secret History of the Witches series. You can see the contents of the entire series at this address. And in 2024, will come book two, Women's Power in Greek Patriarchy, Christus's Amazons and Witches, and an open access volume five in the same series will be on the Suppress Histories website, Magna Mater, A New Religion and the Imperial Church.